Hey guys, welcome to my first official Transformers entry. Hope you're doing well. Um, look at me wearing my garb. Yes, uh-huh, see? Thank you very much. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's what I got. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of things, but uh, I decided to take you on a special trip first. I'm going to take you to um, my place where I love to spend uh, time with the Lord and just uh, meet Him. And uh, it's a really neat place that I love to go. It's a cute little coffee shop. Um, but anyway, there's my car right there. You guys can see it. Um, and and uh, so, I'm going to uh, head out that way, and I'll see you there in just a minute, okay? Alright. There it is, Transformers. Cute little coffee shop. Has a nice little deck in here. Alright. I'm going to go in, and uh, so this is it. little place. Alright guys, so I'm here on the patio. Um, it's kind of chilly, but I wanted to share the patio with you guys um, just to let you know kind of uh, where I usually hang out. Um, one of my uh, favorite things about this place is that I can just chill. I've got my nice iced caramel macchiato. Mm, love it. Mm. And I wanted to share with you one of my simple pleasures, one of the best times of the year. Okay. There are three amazing times of the year for me, in my opinion. I would say Christmas, but really, actually, it's not. I love birthdays. I, it's not even about, like, the presents, because I could care less. You really, after a certain age, you don't get presents. It's the fact that you've lived another year that's freaking amazing. Okay, Oscar season, or award season even more than that. I love award season. I love it, love it, love it. Number three... Girl Scout cookie time, okay? <laughs> Let me just tell you how much I love me some Thin Mints. So, I'm going to share that pleasure with you guys. Aha! Uh -huh. Some Thin Mints, and uh, we're going to discuss for a second, okay? Oh, ready? Mmm. Mmm. I love me some Thin Mints. Alright, guys, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. One second. What? Okay, so, talk amongst yourselves. I'm eating a cookie. Okay. So, the challenge was, wear your latest garb, your Transformers garb, so here's that. And, um, I wanted to share my favorite Bible verse with you guys. Um, it's actually, uh, something that I think I've shared with some of you, um, but not all of you. Um, and it's in Psalm. Uh, it's actually something that I always put on my um, on my emails. So we've got uh, it's Psalm 27, and actually I love Psalm 27. I really believe that um, the struggle uh, with your sexuality, the struggle that happens, uh, really, really is just. I mean, it's town packed in here, and there's so much about um, about God and about the secret place and about His temple. It's an incredible, incredible verse, and um, I'd love to kind of break it apart for you guys, but not right now. I just kind of want to share it with you, um, and then maybe share why it's so important and so precious to me. So, um, Psalm 27, 4 is one thing I have asked, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord and gaze upon His beauty all the days of my life. For He will hide me in His shelter in the day of trouble. He will, he will conceal me under the cover of His tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. Okay, now that's kind of a paraphrased version, um, but I, I challenge you to read that because it's incredible. One of the things that um, is so amazing, like you talk about, this entire, this entire psalm talks about um, hiding, it talks about um, the Lord's uh, light and His salvation, and it talks about um, just about uh, when you're, when you're uh, faced with such an incredible um, thing, you know, or whatever it is, uh, how your, your, your heart just you know, cries out for the Lord and cries out to God. And um, one of the things that has become kind of my life's, uh, I don't know, my life's purpose, my life's passion really, has been about um, just really um, dwelling in the Lord's presence, to gaze on His beauty. Do you know what that's like? I mean, seriously, if you think about it, there was there was Martha and the whole Mary Martha thing and, and how Martha really, she sat, you know, okay, well Martha was like, work, 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 and Mary, Mary sat at God's feet. He, she sat and, and saw Jesus, and she knew what she was looking at. She knew who she was looking at. And, and there's this whole thing where, where um, 
uh, Martha's like, why isn't she working? She should be working. And, and, and Jesus is like, no, she's got it right. She understands. And, and that's what, um, what I love is that, um, I think, I think if we seek him first, seek only him, seek passionately and pursue his passion and just really, really seek his kingdom, then everything is going to happen. All things are going to be added. Everything is going to come to pass. And we, you know, he's given us the desires of our hearts. And so we've got to trust in him with all of our heart and just not lean on what we understand, but just acknowledge him and trust in him. And what, where does that acknowledgement come? It comes from whenever we are seeking him diligently and purposefully and just really, really um, setting our eyes to him and just being with him, taking a moment and just going... God, I love you so much. And to let, you know, to, to sit down with him and enjoy things like your Thin Mints. Mm. Oh, love my Thin Mints. So like to sit with him and enjoy Thin Mint and maybe your favorite cup of coffee and just to read his word or not even read his word, but just sit there and just be like, God, I want to be with you today. I want to hear from you today. I want to know what you what's on your heart today. I want to know what you've got for me today. And, and so... I kind of want to leave you with that. I want to tell you that that's kind of why um, why it's so precious to me and why this place is so precious to me. Um, there's more things that the Lord has shown me about about His closet and His hiding place and how this place has become that kind of for me. But um, but uh, I'll just uh, share, like I said, my favorite verse with you, and uh, I can share a little more with you later. But uh, God bless. I miss you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Holla back, girl. Mwah. See you later, Transformers. And um, hmm. Mark, here he is.